Good morning, students. Welcome to the class. Today we are going to continue the chapter two of civics, that is understanding secularism. Now, in the earlier class, we already have dealt with what is secularism and why it is important to separate the power and state or religion. Means in secular, uh, secularism, why we need to separate the religion and the power of state. Now, further on, we will see that what is Indian secularism. See, the, uh, in our Indian constitution, it has been said that Indian state be secular, means there should be no promotion of any religion, because only a secular state can realize certain objectives, such uh, that is, that one religious community community does not dominate other. Means in a particular religion, means Hindu is not dominating Hindu, okay, or Muslim. The uh, that some member do not dominate other member of same religious community means higher uh, section of Hindu society does not dominate the lower section of Hindu society. And the third is that the state does not enforce any particular religion, nor take away the religious freedom of individual. Means we are free to choose any religion that we want to pursue, that we want to take on in future further, that we want to follow. Now, see, the Indian state, the Indian state work in various different, different ways to look after all these three objectives that we have seen. Okay, they prevent the others, they prevent the above domination, means whatever, whoever is dominating these three objectives of a secular state, Indian state, the Indian constitution is pre preventing, uh, preventing it, uh, um, preventing it from domination. So, first we see that it uses a how now we are seeing that how does it prevent prevent from domination there are three different stages in which or we can say there are three different methods in which the indian state prevent sorry indian state prevent yes indian state prevent domination of the above objective of indian constitution regarding secularism the first is First, strategy of distancing from religion. Second, the strategy of non-interference. And the third, the strategy of intervention. Now, we are going to deal with all these strategy one by one. See, the first is strategy of distancing from religion. What does the Indian state do? First, it uses a strategy of distancing itself from religion or any religious group. The Indian state is not ruled by a religious group and nor does it support any particular religion. Okay. For example, in uh, or we can say in India, government spaces, certain spaces are there like government institution, government offices, uh, police stations, schools. All these are not supported to display or promote any one religion. How we can say, from through the example, we can see this. In your book also, there, uh, there is an example given. You can read that. For now, you see, for example, the government school, particularly we are talking about the government school, do not celebrate any religious festival at school premises. Means, and in the school, no festival is celebrated. This is only um, means we can see in government school. Why? The government, most of the religious festivals are public holidays so that we can celebrate these at home. Why this is being done? Because the government schools is not promoting any certain religion. Like they are celebrating Hindu uh, festivals like uh, 
Deepavali, again, uh, you can say Durga Puja, but they are not uh, celebrating any Muslim or Christian festival. So they do not want to promote any certain or particular uh, religious festival. That's why that particular festival day is announced as public holiday so that each and everyone could stay home and celebrate at home with their family. So, but this rule is only applied in government school the private schools do not apply this rule on themselves and they celebrate certain festivals in schools and we have already seen and the second is strategy of non-interference now what happens in this the second way in which the indian secularism works to prevent the domination of the object uh, of the people is through a strategy of non-intervention means it means that in order to respect the sentiments of all religion and not interfere with religious practices the state makes certain exception for particular religious community this i already have dealt with you all in the very first chapter about secularism i gave an example here also the same example have been given that for example the six the six who are wearing a pagri is very important the six uh, for them wearing a pagri is very important part of their religion means they have to follow that okay now the government in uh cannot force enforce them while driving or while uh, riding the government cannot force them to wear helmet because they already are wearing their pagri or we can say turban so this is because the indian state recognizes the wearing that wearing a pagri is central to six religious practices means they are attached to their religious practices that they have to wear pagri okay so so from this we can see that the indian state recognizing the wearing of pagri by the sikh okay now the next strategy is strategy of intervention now in this what happened in this uh, we already have dealt with certain examples like untouchability here what happened in this intervention in this strategy the indian state works to prevent domination means they see that no one is being dominated for example here we can see that it is a very good example about untouchability where we already have seen the members of the same religion dominate other within it okay means upper caste hindu dominate the lower caste okay now in order to prevent their religion based exclusion discrimination or violation the indian constitution banned untouchability okay so from this we can see that untouchability was a was part of our country from uh, ancient india now to prevent this domination in the constitution in the free india what the government did to uh, give the fundamental rights to the lower caste people also the government banned this in untouchability so in instance we can say in this the state is intervening in religion in order to end a social practice so we can say that this was a social practices practice that was going on in a country from ancient india though so the state what they did they stopped this social practice and banned it okay that it believed that and it is discriminating excluding or violating the fundamental rights that have been given to the each and every people of our country so untouchability was banned so 